Okay, in this video we are going to take a look at how to create a program on the HP Prime. Um, I'm actually going to use the emulator, but the effect is essentially the same even if we were to use the actual calculator. So normally what would happen is you would connect your HP Prime to your computer. Um, I'm just going to load up the virtual calculator. And let's go ahead and clear our screen. What will happen though is in the background, notice that you can see HP Prime emulated shows up as a device in the connectivity kit. Now if this had been a real HP Prime, then we would simply see HP Prime and not HP Prime emulated. But let's go ahead and take a look at how we would um, create a program say on our PC and then um, transfer it over to our calculator. So here's our HP Prime. Um, I changed the view to, um, to this large view so that it's easier to see. And uh, let's just go back to the function app. So let's create a program that will essentially be our hello world. Um, let me make a first comment. So right now it says function app. This um, this shows up in our um, program list because um, we are currently using the function app, of course. If we switch over to, for example, advanced graphing, then when we um, go over to the program catalog, we would see this. And um, the reason why we're seeing this is it's just part of the, um, the way um, the HP Prime is set up so that everything essentially revolves around one of these applications. Um, for now, though, you can just uh, ignore uh, this function app thing here. Let's go ahead and create something. So um, let's do new, and we'll call this hello. OK, once you do that, click OK. And this is the basic skeleton of any pr program. We start with export. This makes the um, program visible in the program catalog and uh, it will be called hello. Um, I generally like to use lowercase except for um, b the begin and end and this is to sort of help me um, see where the beginning and the end of my program uh, will be. So all we want to do is create something that kind of prints out hello world. Uh, one way to do that is to create a message box now, I've typed in capital, all caps here, but you could optionally use lowercase. Now, not all commands behave this way. Some are case sensitive, but message box is not one of those. And let's do hello world and see what that will produce. So end every single command with a semicolon. Um, before we exit, we can check whether or not there are any uh, syntax errors with the check. So no errors in the program and we exit by hitting the escape key and um, what we have here is our program it's actually compiled as soon as we exit out of the um, program editor so selecting run puts up a little message box that says hello world now going back into here if you were to do this on the real calculator it's it can be pretty tedious to actually type in every little bit of code. Um, so I'll show you how to import programs into the calculator by also showing you how to export um, the um, same program. So we'll actually save Hello World to say a text file on our computer and then we'll re-import the code to Hello World. Okay. Um, so if you were doing this on the real calculator, after connecting to the connectivity kit, you would click on your calculator, okay, right click and choose to refresh just to make sure that we have everything updated, and then go into programs and look at our code. If you double click here, it will open up essentially a, an editor um, showing our code. I wish that they could change the font size because this is pretty tiny, but it'll have to do for now. 
And what we do is we don't actually click here to save. Uh, what that actually does is it transfers everything that we've edited here back to the calculator. So you can think of this as basically a snapshot of what the calculator looked like uh, when we hit refresh. So to actually save this to a file, we'll copy and we'll run, say, Notepad and just paste and go through the process of saving as whatever it is that we want to save as. So um, you can save it as whatever you like. I'm not actually going to save it. And uh, that's it. That's how you save the source code of a program. Now let's say that we were doing this in the reverse. So again, we connect our calculator to the HP Connectivity Kit. Right click and hit refresh. Okay. Now, presumably, hello would not exist. And I'm actually going to go back into the calculator and make sure that it actually doesn't. So we'll delete it. Okay, so it doesn't exist anymore. And if we go back to the connectivity kit and refresh, there's nothing that shows up under programs. So you could do new. Again, so this here is the current snapshot of our calculator. So if we want to create a new program. Here it is. And we can rename it to whatever we'd like. So we'll do hello again. And let's change this to match. Um, now I've actually edited here, but it really doesn't matter what we type here because we presumably have our source code existing elsewhere. So let me bring up that notepad again. All we do is we select all the code, do copy, select all the code here. You can also do control A or using the right click and paste our code from our text file onto here. Okay. And then what we do is we hit save and that's essentially it. We've, we've transferred this program onto our calculator. So now let's take a look back at what our calculator would look like. If we go under programs, there it is. And we can run it. Okay. Um, so again, I did this on the emulator, but it's the same process um, on an actual calculator. So I hope that helps, and uh, good luck in your programming endeavors.